Hey, I'm Jonathan, and this is Pat, the creator of Disc Golf Valley. Hello. And in this video, he will show me, and he will show you how to play the game in the most optimal way. <laughs> so, Pat. Yes. I played my very first round the other day, and to everyone's delight, it went horribly, as we will see in a bit. You have not seen any of this. Right? But I really look forward to it. And I, uh, you told me to play the course Lakeside. That's Why? right. Why did you say that? It's not the most difficult course, but it does have some challenges that you probably yes. noticed. It's, yes. it's quite easy to get your discs wet. Uh, so maybe we can practice some maritime law as well while we're at it. I have a feeling that a lot of terms that you will say I will not understand. So yeah, hole one. I was pumped here. It's raining. It was raining. It's better when it rains in, in the game compared yeah. to in real life. Of so I went with just three discs. You 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 gave me some discs here to, to play around with. So I went with the Explorer here. I think that's a good choice. Yeah. It's very high. Is aiming it? for the birds, but that's... <laughs> Fine, that's really good. I was well happy here. I was well happy. Now's the tricky part. Oh boy. Yes. yes. Ah, but you right. see here, you see what I did there? How would you go about this hole? The, the important things to think about, just like in real disc golf, are your distances, your angles, and the wind. So this hole is 94 meters. What's that, like 300 feet maybe? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should Google that. <laughs> uh, we got a little bit of a wind, as you can see on the wind reader up in the, in the yeah. right corner. With 94 meters, an explorer is excellent. A fairway driver is excellent. That's gonna be perfect distance. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is... Just my thinking. We can look at this hole and we can identify what are the challenges. There's really only one on this hole, right? We're gonna be carrying over the water the whole way. So we just don't want to land in the water. That's the important part. So I'm actually going to switch this over to a forehand what? throw. A forehand throw for a right-handed player will fade away from the shoreline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it will fade inwards. It's also going to be nice for this wind, because we're going to fade against the wind distance. I thought the game would take care of me in the first hole. It kind of does, but it also kind of doesn't. I'm going to aim a little bit to the to the left here, because we're going to fade back in. The wind yeah. is going to help us a little bit, and I'm just going to casually throw it out here with a little bit of Anheuser. And we're going to bounce up pretty perfectly. And we don't it, even need to putt. We, just, we can just tap it in. Yeah. Nice. It's a hole two. Still raining. And a little bit windy. And and here I thought, can I reach there? Am I able to? And well, I also thought about the your placement of a tree there. It's in the way. <laughs> It's it, still it a very a high way. shot, but that's gonna make it... Right? Perfect. And here the game wanted me to change to the mid-range, so I went, fine, alright. It's a good choice by the game. Mm -hmm. And you, and you. And here I think it's very polite, this game, Pad. <laughs> that's it's a bit like... of a layup, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> Still par! The pros when they play this usually go for the eagle. We're not gonna when do that. Play, when they play this in real life? or No, the Disc of Valley pros. Okay, okay. <laughs> I am not one of them. We're just gonna try to make it to the other side. That's the important part. So I'm gonna play it safe. Throw it pretty straight. You, you do it so low. I get nervous. So we don't want to fight gravity too much. That's going to lose us a lot of distance. So I'm throwing it pretty low and I'm just going to throw it into the basket now because I'd rather not putt, right? So... Almost. It's so much better if you call it beforehand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in for a birdie. That's birdie. fine. That's respectable. Yeah. 
So here, you decided to, to, to make an even smaller island. Ooh, that's an interesting look choice. At this. I yeah. really like what I did here. But the result was good, I like it. Yes. Everything up until this point felt That nice. was oof, a lot of power on that throw. No, I was really like... Yeah, that's... Ooh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Heiser again. And then it's you have the, the little thing there. Yeah. And then... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were scared of the water at that point, I understand, yeah. Uh, so I right. went with a forehand for some reason here. I thought it was a good play. Maybe the wind was good for that for you. Uh, I, di I didn't look... Yes. Uh, I've got a good wind here for a backhand. It's going to push me straight. Yeah. And the key with wind is I want to throw the disc flat. If I throw with a lot of Heiser or Anheiser, the wind is going to have more surface of the disc. Mm. And that's actually simulated in the game. The thing here, Pad, is that in real life, me and Heiser are not friends. Mm. And for with some reason, Heiser. that carried over into cyberspace. Luckily, we are throwing an explorer here, which is an excellent disc in the wind. Very mm. reliable, good fade. People should buy a lot of them. So I'm just gonna aim out a little bit to the right here to let it yeah. fade back. I've got a little bit yeah. of wind to help me out. And I'm not gonna go full power, but almost. So flat, you did so... F I get That's nervous. pretty good. So putting seems like it was a little bit of a problem. So let's talk about the putting real quick. Yeah. I can actually choose here what, what? throw I want to use. I like using the putt from, from almost any distance here. The key here is you put your finger on the disc, right? And yeah. it's going to follow your finger. You can move it around. You can yeah. even release it. It's still going to be there, no problem. And then follow through to yeah. the basket. If your finger is in the basket, the disc is in the basket. So here, I was a bit like, it's, is it always raining, Pad? It's gonna rain until it stops raining. That's the way it works. That sounds like a thing a mother would say. <laughs> so here I try, I don't know. Yeah, I thought I can't reach to that side there. I like that play a lot, actually. You played fading towards, away from the water. Wait. That's, wait. ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's smart. That's smart. Safe play. I like that a safe lot. Safe play. Mm. And then, and then, Ooh, that and here great. I got really excited. Longest drive. Mm. It's always nice. Hey! Pat, I have a question. Because on this hole, I tried to do something I cannot do. I, I cannot reach there. I couldn't. But if I had another disc. I've heard about the Ballista, the Ballista Pro. Everyone's talking about the Ballista. What do I have to do to get it? Yeah. You have to unlock the distance drivers. And you can do that if you keep playing in the Challenge the Valley game mode. If yeah. you unlock a bunch of stars there, you're gonna start mm. seeing distance drivers as rewards. Is there a cheat? Mm. Or you can play the other game modes. There's multiplayer, there's AI tournaments, and there are disc rewards that you can get yeah. from all of those game modes as well. But it takes a little while to get a distance driver, you know, it has to, you have to earn it. You don't really need a distance driver for most holes. Actually, I think the best discs in the game are actually the fairway drivers, because they're more accurate. You can get there, you can't get as far, but you'll get where you want to go. We'll try to tackle this hole. It's a par five, it's a long hole, and it, there's a lot of risk management. You can choose to go for it, or you can play it safe. So I'm not going to do anything crazy here. We got a little bit of wind, so we're just going to so put it on oh. the shore. So I've actually got a pretty good distance here for the fairway driver already. I could, if I want to play really safe, pitch up along the shoreline here to get an even shorter yeah. drive. But I think, even with the headwind, I think we can have a good shot at reaching this. Headwind will make the disc flip a bit more. It's gonna turn a bit more. I'm gonna throw it pretty straight here. We're gonna get a little bit of flip. And I think it's gonna make it to the other side. Yes! Oh, I'm on an emotional roller coaster here. And we've got a nine meter putt. No drama.
So now we have a whole five here. There's an island. <laughs> I wonder why it's called Lakeside. It's strange. Yeah. Mm. Four, four. So I decided to go for the island here. That's there, a good choice. Exactly there, I wanted it. And full bore. <laughs> Trying to throw it in. That's nice. Ooh. Yeah. But, though. Rimmer. Mm. Yes. It's weak side, but it's in. So your play was really good there. I'm basically gonna do the you same that, thing. People? It was really good. It's a pretty straightforward hole. I mean, you're not gonna reach the basket in one throw. Even with the biggest yeah. distance drivers, it's really hard. Mm. So you're kind of forced to just play fairway and then a mid-range. And we'll try to get a short putt. That looks good. And it's in. So hole six, this is where stuff happened here. This is where uh, the course gets a bit challenging. It's a, a fun really? fact. When the game was released, we only had five holes on each mm. course. So these four were added later, and people were much better at the game by that point, so they are a bit harder. That was you wouldn't close. Say. That's, ooh, it's yeah. a lot of flex on that one. <clears throat> this looks and pretty again. good. No. No. And then I went back to the, the fairway driver, I guess. It's safe. Yeah, I played it, but there. Oh, yeah. And there. The game wanted me to go with the compass, and I didn't. And things happened. How does it decide what, what sort of disc you get? So the game tries to help you out, but it really only looks at the distance to the basket. And in this case, yeah. it's not very far. It's only 70 meters. We can't throw straight at the basket because there's a mandatory in the way. We have to heiser it around. Mm. So the safe play here would actually be to go for the fairway driver. I did that. It didn't go well, but I did that. I'm not even gonna try to land near the basket here. All I care about is I just wanna be safe. So I'm gonna throw yeah. a bit further and with a bit of heiser, and hopefully we should land very safe over here somewhere. Yeah. That is safe. So what would what what do we do here, Jonathan? Get, get some panic going. Do we go for it on a raised basket with water behind it? This could go very wrong. Let's see. That's pretty nice. This is hole seven. Water. <laughs> Based on a real tournament hole, actually. If, if any of our viewers recognize it, you can post it in the comments, maybe. Yes. That's this, great. I, yes. Mm. I like that. Mm. Here, I have a question. We can take it. Yeah. That's in the water. See? And that's yeah. a layup. As we saw there, I threw it far. Well, I don't know. I threw it further than the last time. Do I, as a player, get, get stronger? Not game-wise. But mm. of course you get better at the game. You learn to estimate the distances, you learn how the different discs fly, yeah. and, and what line to throw on each hole. I had some tailwind. Right. Does the wind in the game affect the disc a lot? Yes, I would say. So yeah. there's the wind indicator has different levels. It goes from one to three, usually. Mm. On three, you do have to compensate a bit for the wind. Yeah. You're also going to run into, if you keep playing, even more wind. We need to try yeah. to land the disc flat on the ground. The flatter you land the disc, the less it's going to skip and slide away. We got a yeah. little bit of wind. I'm not going to worry too much about it, because we're throwing an explorer, so it's a bit overstable. I'm just going to try to land it safe on the ground somewhere. Oh! Okay. Let's see what we got. 16 meters and a you bit of a there, tree in the way. You put this tree there. Again. Uh, Let's see if we can me. make this one. What happened? Good things happened. No, it did not. But at least we're not in the water. So that's yeah. that's good enough. 
when you uh, create obstacles like a leaf or a pine tree, is there a different or do you, you don't discriminate when it comes to trees? Some trees are a bit thicker than others, yeah. so they will stop discs a bit more. Yeah. And of course, if you go through the edges of a tree, it's not so bad, but if you go straight through the middle... Yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. So this is hole eight. This is actually an evil one, yeah. You must I'm, have I'm, I really apologize. Like diabolic. This is a diabolic move. I apologize for this one, guys. But here... <laughs> but that no. would have been sweet. <laughs> but... This looks really good as well. Right? <laughs> nice! Yeah. We got quite a lot of wind. A very small island to hit. What do we do? Go for the mascot. I'm gonna lay it up. Really? Don't boo me, guys. Come on. You know it's Ooh. the right. Th not even, not even the creator of the game is gonna hit that island. We're going putter putter. Yeah. And now we've got a strong tailwind, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful so we actually hit this island. We can't throw too hard, even with the putter. Nice. Oh, That's how you do it. Mm. <laughs> always, always go for the basket. Exactly. Like so this is the final hole. <clears throat> it's an you, interesting you went, layout. You fall out with the islands here. I've never played a hole where you need, need a boat to get all the way uh, to the basket. Yeah. Yeah, I went. I went for the first island here. Ooh, oh! Didn't want to stay there. I think it was the but correct I, play. It was just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I didn't read throw. I went, and then here. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> and then just a little. Time. Nice. And bogey. So, so my round was plus 18. You really, you really went... Like, the, the islands were on, on, on sails here. Because you have the, the on the very left there, and you have the stuff in the middle, and on the right there. I like building holes where you've got a choice, a strategic choice, for where to throw the disc. And uh, there is an eagle play on this hole as well. If you've got the really big discs. There's a tiny island in the middle, but most people don't really go for that. They usually go for the right island and then try to yeah. throw all the way to the basket from there. But uh, we're gonna play it very safe here again. We don't really need anything else than a mid-range. Yeah. We're just gonna put it safely on this island. Don't need to throw too far. Try to aim for the middle. Still 153 meters to the basket. Yeah. That's too far. So we're gonna put it on the next island. Safe shot, aiming for the middle. That looks great. And then the final shot. Yeah. Let's go with the mid-range again. What? 97 meters. Yeah. But we're up high. We're so high up. Yeah. We're just gonna glide all the way over there. Really? Gotta know our angles and our elevations. We played it safe. But it did pay off this time. It did, yes. Mm. So, Pat, can you tell me some? What's the future? What's the future for yourself, young man, and the game? Mostly the game. We have so many plans for Disc Golf Valley. Yeah. Uh, I get suggestions every day from players about things they would like to see in the game. Mm. We're uh, we're liking what we're doing right now with the signature discs and with all the new courses. We might look into making real courses. Courses inspired by real courses. It could go anywhere, even virtual. Yeah.